I heard a rumor that anthropology was a lot like free people. And I instantly was like, hmm, this I have to see for myself. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see, does it have a free people vibe? What's the pricing like? What's the store like? Ah, I'm so excited. So let's stop talking and let's go on our shopping adventure.
walking in, I'm definitely going to give it, yeah, it had a free people vibe. And it's not that their fashion wasn't nice. It was just their fashion was expensive. Expensive. I really never thought I would find a store that made me actually think that free people stuff was super um, affordable. I mean, I walked in and there were cute stuff, cute stuff that absolutely, again, reminded me of free people, but like twice as much. There were a pair of overalls there. Now, you know how much I love overalls that were almost $400. But they had a lot of pants that reminded me of like my Tahiti cargo pants. And then I saw some that kind of had like a real driftwood jeans kind of vibe. Now those are those really cute camo pants that I have that have the embroidery up the side. I saw some that had that. Now they did have like houseware stuff. And this gave me a real Pier 1 imports kind of vibe. Everything that you could find at Pier 1, I felt like you could find here. And their shoes were like, psh, meh. I mean, if you want Birkenstocks, you can go get a pair there. I did not see anything aside from like your standard Birkenstocks anything that I would get. And they had the crossbody bag that reminded me a lot of the swing bag from Free People. Truthfully, about the same price. I priced it out, I think at $89. And the swing bag that Free People have is just about the same price point. They had those really cute, like sheer dresses that you can wear over like a tank top and pants. Now, the thing that I noticed that was a little bit different on theirs is they had a lot of more like looser ones that you would definitely have to put over the top of an outfit where free people have them to where you can wear underneath a graphic tee or something like that. Those little slip things were a couple of hundred dollars. And I'm like, no, they had a wedding section. And you know what? I kind of looked at it from afar. I was afraid if I walked over there, I would catch like some wedding bug. And then I'd be like, oh, maybe I want to meet somebody. And I'm like, stay away, Lonnie. Don't go near the wedding dresses. Their displays were really cute. And I picked up some outfit ideas. They did have a couple of racks that were, I was like, no, this kind of reminds me of a house dress from the 70s. These, I was like, mm -mm, no, this, this isn't a vibe. So all in all, my comparison of an anthropology store compared to a free people store is I'm going to have to say I'm going to stick with free people. I like the styles, I like the vibe, and I like the prices better than anthropology. But that is my honest and genuine opinion of anthropology. So remember to please like and subscribe. And until next time, be bright, be bold, be brave, and I will see you on the next shopping adventure.